look away from the train break. You can blame it on the tank or the disrespect. If you play better, button check. Button check. What is up, Butt Check family? Welcome back to yet again. A beautiful day as promised. We are back. We just filmed yesterday. We're back again because it is HT, the most glorious day of the week. Chapters down below. And of course, that sub button right there on the race. As always, we got some special stuff coming up. But without further ado, we got a huge announcement just posted today, among other things. Ladies and gents, let's get these buttons. Let's go. All right, now into the multiverses moment 37 buttons that need to be checked. Okay, so we just talked about the state of the game the other day where they did a little preview. Some people were worried because they're like, it seems like the characters are too big or that they're playing too slow. They're like, this game has been taken off for like a year. It's about to be released, what, in a few weeks, a month, something like that, and it looks like this, we're concerned. Well, now, People are taking it back because they're releasing more footage and I'll put it on the screen here in a second. And they're like, whoa, this looks completely different, right? On top of that, there's now parrying in the game and people are going bonkers over that, right? So obviously their information down below, definitely check them out. They posted this video right here, right? Actually, it's two back to back, check this out. So they're like, a fight has already broke out. Yeah, fight breaks out, here you go. Superman versus Shaggy. The parry right off the bat, bam, look at that shit. So now you're telling me, that's what the comments are saying, right? That we get moment 37, we get to do this in fucking multiverses, you know what I'm saying? Well, they post another one saying the game has just started and a fight has already broken out another one, right? Check this out. I wonder if there's gonna be like mini games uh, in multiverses, you know what I'm saying? Like hockey and whatnot. Anyway, here we go, we got Batman. Right here come the, bam, right there. I believe that was the parry, right? People are going fucking ape shit over this. Here's the reactions right here. People are like, uh, parrying is godlike. The Batman gameplay is awesome. Parrying or hell yeah, parrying. And it continues on. A lot of people are just like, I guess they didn't expect this. I know I didn't expect this. I when the game first came out, right? I did play with it for a second. I didn't get too in depth, right? So to see the reactions, this has been so anticipated, right? Just for the release of this game, I'm really curious to see what the numbers are gonna do. But now that everybody's just literally like parrying, oh my God, we out here. Uh, Perry, then what was that? Uh, Perry the fin spike, <laughs> right? Everybody's going crazy. So there you go, man. How y'all feeling about multiverses? Do you think uh, there's hope for it? You know what I'm saying? I shouldn't even say that, you know what I'm saying? Because with the last story, it wasn't like everybody in the community was saying negative shit. It was just like a pocket of people. But yeah, we don't have the whole story yet. Now they are getting more glimpses. Hopefully this energy, hopefully this energy stays like this. And you know, we all get excited about some multiverses because I just think the more better games that we have in the FGC, the better, you know what I'm saying? Especially in this day and age. And hopefully that payout is good. Anyway, there it is. How y'all feeling? Let me know. And now it's time for them Capcom ain't got shit on me buttons that need to be checked, or I should say Capcom ain't got shit on this buttons, right? Esports World, we literally just talked about them yesterday, but the one thing we left out is we didn't know how much the actual E Cup or the Esports World Cup is gonna be. We got the official number today, a few hours ago. It is 60 million dollars plus right here saying we are proud to announce the unprecedented total prize pool uh more than 60 million for the inaugural esports world cup this summer in uh riyadh saudi arabia the life-changing sum is the largest prize pool ever awarded in the history of esports shattering the previous record of 45 million the esports world cup historic prize pool matches the grand scale the events will feature the world cup clubs and players in 20 distinct tournaments across 19 18 competitive titles which more or more to be announced throughout the eight week schedule the sizable reward represents the significant step in the esports world cup foundation effort to grow the global esports esports industry while providing more suitable career options for competitive players and multidisciplinary esports clubs it also will help support the ewc as a platform that draws the best players teams and organizations together for an international celebration of esports excellence and fandom damn that's a mouthful right it gets even deeper right here saying the club championship an innovative cross game competitive format unique to the ewc will allow or award 20 million to the top 16 clubs based on their overall performance the club championship is a new format focusing on multi-game competitions with each club having the opportunity to field its roster with multiple titles at the event's conclusion the club with the best performance across various game championships will be crowned the world's first esports club or world 
Cup Club champions, right? And you can see it right here. Holy shit. Life changing money. 60 million. Club championship, 20. Uh, game championships, 30 million. Qualifiers alone over seven. And then I guess MVP gets like over, uh, what was it, one million? The remaining prize pool will be divided into three additional distribution categories. Game championships, uh, player bounties, and qualifiers. Each of the 20 game champions or championships competitions will have their own prize pool with a combined exceeding 33 million. In addition, 50,000 MVP player bounty will be awarded to the standout participant in each competition. More than seven million will be awarded before the game championship starts as teams and players compete to qualify for the available tournament spots across the world, right? The EWC's groundbreaking lineup of 19 participating titles consists of Apex Legends, Counter-Strike 2, Dota 2, EA Sports, FC 24, Fortnite, Free Fire, Honor of Kings, League of Legends, Mobile Legends, Bang Bang, Overwatch 2, PUBG, whatever that is, Battlegrounds, PUBG Mobile, Tom Clancy, Rainbow Six, Ren Sport, uh, Rocket League, StarCraft 2, Street fighter six team fight tactics and tekken eight more titles to come to be announced so that's interesting right maybe mk1 could sneak in there right in addition to its focus on the competitive excellence the ewc will transform riyadh into the epic center of esports and fandom gaming culture with a massive immersive festival featuring the gaming activities uh, community tournaments pop culture celebrations international experience and much more additional information about ewc festivals to come that fgc is reacting i'm out of breath we got tekken master talking about no mk1 is sad but maybe it could happen right others are like bro this is crazy and that's coming from crossover speed kick says it's been brought to my attention the expected esports world cup pot is uh, the number given is what i asked and what would it take for me to come back to compete in Tekken 8 or to compete, period, right, in Tekken 8? And Speedstick is saying, that's the number, right? I'm still the daddy says 60 million. You'd be stupid not to go to Dallas for Street Fighter 6 next month. Time to pay off my mama's house. <laughs> that's what Zafarito says. Chris T says, what a time to be a fighting game player. Absolutely insane. Somebody by the name of Rich says, Saudis are no hit, 100% speed running esports. You might not like it, but complaining and boycotting won't do anything. They went full brute force mode and everybody's going to take the money they win holy to the shit right can we unpack this right this since it was just posted earlier this morning a lot of the fgc is still like doing this i think a lot of people don't know right we haven't really seen too many stories about this breakout we've known for some time that this was coming we didn't know the exact amount right so here it is 60 plus million not only the most uh, that we've ever seen in the FGC, but esports period. And the fact that the FGC is a part of that, mind blowing. I mean, this is the perfect example or the perfect, I should say, addition to yesterday's video. Cause yesterday we were talking about these same guys, these same guys are adding $50,000 to what is it, uh, DreamHack Dallas, and I think DreamHack Switzerland, something like that. So we were already like gloating over that. Now to know that, okay, check this out. If you missed yesterday's video also, Top eight, not the top win, not the fucking winner. Top eight of DreamHack Dallas qualifies for Riyadh, Saudi Arabia for the $60 million tournament. That's why everybody now is saying, fuck, I might have to miss Evil Japan or whatever I got to rearrange, I have to go to Dallas, right? You got to come to Dallas, which by the way is the home of button check come on the button check baby come to death row you know what i'm saying we'll be here shit now i might make plans to go to me some dream hack shit i might as well this is gonna be big this right here dwarfs capcom cup right dwarfs anything we ever see any pro hell any casual anybody got hopes and dreams is going to be aiming for this chance right because never have we been seen not only this much money but the fact that all of top eight qualifies all of top eight you know what i'm saying so this is big this is big and uh, I'm excited. When I first read this this morning, I was like, holy shit, they finally gave us that number. And I guess they're gonna do obviously different categories, different genres and whatnot. Maybe they'll add, you know, different titles like MK1 later. I wouldn't say it looks good, but hey, never say never. You know what I'm saying? But the fact is they're also gonna do the way it looks is like, they're gonna have like pros in each genre compete against other pros, right? So they're gonna do like, I guess, who's the best gamers overall, right? I don't know why I went like this. Anyway, I'm fucking Joey right now and friends. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, I guess they're gonna do something like that too. So they could be like, who's really the gaming champion? Something like that in one of their, you know, competitions out there. But look, 
They're giving away millions upon millions upon fucking millions. And now the FGC is finally a part of mainstream esports in a crazy way. We don't even have Project L yet. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I ain't gonna say the new name. Anyway, we still don't even have that. So we'll see what Riot wants to do with us. You know what I'm saying? We still got Cap Cup still throwing down a million. And now we got this 60 plus million. How y'all feeling? Definitely, ladies and gents, definitely let me know how you guys are feeling. Thank you for the amazing love, man. We got so much to come. I got some more exciting announcements coming, especially this week and next week and all that stuff. And of course, it is HT, the most glorious day of the week. Y'all already know. Let's get it. All right, here we go with that featured HT cosplay. I want to give a shout out to the homie Ahmed Sonic Mo for recommending this one right here. This one's pretty damn fire, right? So I'm gonna put the profile on the screen right here. Is it how do I pronounce her name? Is it Fira Fira? I did that fox, something like that. Hey, profile on the screen, link down below. Definitely check her out. She posted this the other day saying King of Fighters, right? We got some King of Fighters cosplay. We're gonna put it on. Let me scooch over here so uh, we can get that focus. And I'm gonna put it on the screen right now. Y'all ready? Bam! This is uh, King of Fighters, she's working it. Working. I like it because it's, it's it's classy, but at the same time getting the point across and it's it's crossing all the points. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely, it's definitely getting that point across. I got no idea what that means. Either way, some good ass cosplay. Y'all welcome. And there it is one more time. Thank you guys for the amazing love, man. We will see you soon, if not tomorrow, definitely the next day. And as always, I don't know what it is, but I know it's about to be 60 plus million dollars. It's about to get better. Love y'all fella. Peace. Blah, 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 subscribe. You can. And now into that sweet moment of FGC bliss. This one right here is from none other than NYC Shine. Y'all know Shine, man, great guy, FGC for quite some time, right? Well, somebody by the name of Cross Knockout posted this clip, I guess, from his stream, saying uh, Shine, tagging him, saying, teaches a chatter how to dissect your opponent in Street Fighter VI. Doesn't really go, though, how he thought it would. Enjoy. Okay, all right, I see the type of JP player I'm up against. Don't do this. If you want to learn how to be good at the game, don't do this. This is, this is what you should not do. Finding finding some some strange strategy that will work for you temporarily, but as you can see, it's just being dissected little by little. Oh shit, never mind. You got it. <gasps> Bro, 